Hello, we are UDRAW. We've created a service where you can take any YouTube music video and make it into an animation. Can anyone create? Humans have been creating content for thousands of years, from the first cave paintings until now, where we've created a new service. So, really, it should be anyone can create. You may not be so good at drawing, you may not play an instrument, but if we all come together and make something together, we can make something truly brilliant. So that's why we've created a crowdsourced video animation platform. So this is the UDRAW team, and you'll realise that we've split into three different groups. Uh, this was because initially we had a large group and it became very difficult to delegate tasks. However, once we split into these subgroups, we, are, we found it much more easy to collaborate and come together to create the app of creation. Uh, what this means is we are able to directly link with the app and create something we love, rather than just creating some generic software. So this is how UDRAW works. We use YouTube DL to fetch a direct URL to the YouTube video, which we can then embed into a video element. Um, and to reduce abuse of the service, we randomize frames that the user is given to draw over. So because we don't want gaps in the video, because the random frames would be over the whole video, we developed something that we would call batch frame randomization. And that works by having batches of 15 frames, and then we uh, generate a random number in between that range and send that to the user. And once 15 frames have been done by, the, uh, by any user, we then move on to the next batch and generate a new number in that range. And we also have a rating system, so users can rate um, frames so if someone draws something silly, they can download it, or if it's not really good and there is a better frame, um, they can read that as well. So now we're going to demonstrate the site to you live so you can see how it works. Okay, this is the homepage to you draw, and as you can see, it's easy to just go ahead and create a new project. You just click there, but for now we're going to see something we've already worked on, and this is an animation of Gangnam Style. We didn't have much time to do this and we appreciate the quality isn't so good because we didn't have much work on it, but this was worked on by many people across the room where we were sleeping in. So it's just how many people can come together to create one project. And we believe this can be used to monetize the service if a video label or music label wants to engage the release of their video onto social media with a project on UDRAW, they can get users to really engage with the video and draw over a frame and create a second video which is made by the community or fan base of that artist. Or also, it's a tool which can be used by anybody, as you can see when we make a project. If we look on the drawing tools, we can easily see that a frame loads, it's chosen randomly, so a user can't create their own animation of multiple frames. And the video tools are amazingly easy to use. You just simply color in over the top. You can change the opacity so we can see what we've drawn. This means that anybody, whether they're a good artist or not, can contribute to the project. And it makes drawing for the YouTube video available all over the world to people of any disability or ability in art. And then you publish the frame. You can put your name if you want. So you can just fill in there and submit it. And it will go straight to the into the video, which we could then watch. Thank you. Are there any questions? So you, you can have, you can crowdsource and you can have a thousand people creating their own individual frames to then build video. Yes. 
So it would be really good for if an artist wants to really publicise their video. And for example, product placement. If a, the film that's a music video had a product that's placed in it, getting users to draw over it would really help it stick in their minds. Get people to personalise um, greetings to people with videos that they wanted to send to friends as well, couldn't they? Yes, so it's very, it helps people connect across the world through something they enjoy, the content they enjoy. So where, where are your friends stored? They're stored on YouTube and we just fetch the video directly from YouTube. The audio is also fetched from YouTube and it's not <coughs> in the video that we're displaying. So we have two videos and we synchronise them. So we're using like, so they intercut frames, or the, so you're taking two sources at once and playing, or are you actually... No, we take two sources and we play them. Or are you using the YouTube API, that's our open data. So Any other question? Sorry, so you're not modifying the actual video itself, you're creating a separate video, and then you're mixing the two together when it's played. Is that right? Yes, yes. And does that mean it only plays through your system, or can you punch that back down to a... A final video that's then restored on YouTube. Reaching all copyright. copyright but yes, that's the problem. So we play the audio through YouTube, which is allowed by their API, and then we put our frames on top. But if we uploaded it to YouTube, we would possibly get a copyright strike against us. So therefore, we will, in the future, we'd look to partner with YouTube and partner with the labels so we'd be able to do that, because that would mean more promotion for them.